What's up friends? This is Jessica Tutorial on Jessica Show. Are you a teacher, employee, or businessman who wants to conduct a survey in order to gather important information from your students, clients, or customers but doesn't know how? Aww. Well, don't you worry because in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make an online survey program to gather the information you want by using a free online platform. Yes! So please don't skip any part of this video so that you won't miss anything in the process. Hi! So once again, if you want to use the Google Forms, so you need to create also a Google account for that. And then once you are logged in, you will be prompted on this interface. So right now, since we are going to be making a student information survey program, let us select this one, a blank form in order to create one. And then here, again, you have your title. And then you have here a sample or a sample question section here and also you have here your file name so let us start first by making a design for our form so by going here to the customized theme and then selecting choose image and then last time we uploaded a picture but right now we are going to choose from the different pictures here uh, let us select this one, this section, work and school. And then let us go down here and select this last picture. And then click insert. And then it will be inserted there. So right now our form is looking good. And then next is we are going to put here a title. Okay. Uh, student information survey and then here uh, let's put here a description we want to know you more okay something like that and then next is we are going to start by putting here what we want to ask our student in this section so I have a data here, a list of data that we are going to ask our student. Uh, the last name of the student, the first name, the middle name, the sex, birth date, age, going to the contact number of parents, guardian. Okay. Okay, so we are going to put this one. We are going to put here the last name. So have you noticed like uh, by the time that I put here the word last name, Google Form already knows that the answer will be a short answer so it has an AI that detects what you are trying to ask or put on your form so this is a very good type of program that they have here wow. and then next is we're going to click here enable this required so the student needs to answer this one and then next we're going to add another question like we're going to ask the first name Okay, so it, it automatically changed to short answer. Then we're going to click this one, required. And then next is the middle name. That one. And then let's enable required. Next, sex. So here, it is still a multiple choice, but it added some suggestions for the google form already knows that it prefers something like if you want to put here a mail you can you can just click this one so it puts there the mail option and female option wow okay so a very good algorithm or ai in the google form all right and then next is we're going to click the required button or enable that one then next so here if we're going to type in birth date so the word date is there so it automatically changes to date wow. 
and then also here the answer will be uh, a date all right so it will be by month then comma day then comma then year wow. and then we're going to enable this one required add another question that is birth date then we're going to put your age it automatically automatically changes to short answer and then there's additional option here like number so is a number so the answer should be a number if there is a letter with within the answer of the student then there will be an error wow. right uh since um, i want it to be more specific uh, i would like to select this one whole number so that a student cannot answer with a decimal number or uh, any type of number aside from a whole number okay okay so next is we're going to click the required button and then next age is mother tongue so short answer enable the required button religion okay that one so it's still a short answer I'm going to enable this one home address okay so it's still a short answer then let's enable the required button municipality or city so it's a short answer also then enable this one okay then enable this one again email address address so as you can see here also it changed to short answer but here on this part short answer uh, we have here a suggestion that you can enable the email collection setting so you can do that one or you don't need to enable this one but for me uh, i don't need to enable this one we just leave it at is and then let's click this one the required button father's complete name let's put your complete name and then enable the required button and next is mother's maiden name okay enable required button contact number of parent or guardian okay so here since this is a contact number uh, google form has detected that you have uh, that you are trying to ask for a contact number so we have here an option again number is number so you can also make it as a whole number or something uh, that is suited for your question so i'll stick to this is number and then click this one required button uh, i think we have already yeah we have already here all the necessary questions to be asked so the next thing that you will do is uh, let's have this uh, title the file name and then so it automatically copied our title over here to the file name so i'm okay with that so it is already saved and then next is let's go here to the preview okay so we have here middle name first name the sex so as you can see it has two options male or female the birth date looks like this so you're going to put your numbers something like that and then age mother tongue religion home address province email address father's name mother's maiden name and then the contact number so everything is looking good so i think we are now ready to to set the settings and then probably send this one later or test this one later so we go first in the settings on the general section so here collect email address so since you're going to send the link directly to the student so uh, email is not yet required so do not put a check here next is requires sign in so we're going to uncheck that one and then 
limit to one response okay so enable that one and then edit after submit so please put a check on this one so that if ever the student has some corrections to to make on the submitted information so he or she can edit the form okay and then see summary charts and text so we don't need this one so that's it on the general section and then we go to the presentation so here show progress bar so you don't need to put a check on that shuffle question no need to put also a check on that confirmation message so let's let's put here thank you message thank you for answering the survey and then next we go to the quizzes we don't need to use this one so presentation we are okay general settings are okay and then all you have to do is just click the save button all right so since we have already seen a preview of this we have already set our settings now it is now ready to be sent yes. to our students so let's click here the send button and then in here uh, we do not need to be sending this through email because we do not have yet the email of our students so i would suggest that you use this one the url you sent a url or a link to your students so here we have a very long link or url so i would suggest to shorten your url and then you copy this one so once you have copied this one you can now send this link to your students yes so right now we're going to try this let's have this test on another browser so let's put the link here all right so here we're going to try and answer the form here we have the last name so right now we're just testing the form then we're going to see what is the output of the form the google form can be connected to our google sheet so let's try this one all right then lastly we have our contact number here and then once you are already done with the survey so you just have to click submit Again, so since we have set that the student can edit the information if you want to change or she wants to change something, so you have here edit your response so they can edit it if if they want to. Yes. All right. So since we have already sent it, let's try to check here. As you can see, we have one response, so you can click this one, and then you can see the response here. Okay. So all the information of the respondent and then next is what we are going to do is since there are a lot of students who are going to answer this one so this will be piling up here so you're going to connect it to a google sheet so what to do is you go here create a spreadsheet so you click you click this one and then here you select this first option create a new spreadsheet and then it has a title the same as your title and then you click create and then it will go to another tab and then here is the information that were sent by our first responder uh, we have here jonas scanilla padilla mail let's try to check if all of it is correct 29 cebuano roman catholic home address yes cebu province the email is correct the father's name is correct the mother name also and the contact number yes as you can see in our google sheet there is also a label on each uh, section so first name middle name so what we inputted inside our google form it is also here if there is another respondent it will be written here in uh, on the second row of our google sheet and you have noticed also we have a timestamp here so that you will know what time and what date 
did the student answer your survey? So that's it. That is how to make a survey program inside Google Forms. Now, if you have any questions, please do leave a comment down below. If you have learned something in this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Once again, this is Jessica Tutorial on Jessica Show. See you on the next video. Bye-bye!